John 4.16 Lege aute hupage phonesan tan andrasu kai elthe inthade. This is Jesus continuing to speak to the Samaritan woman at the well. He said to her, notice that historical or narrative present with a verb of speech, depart or go, call your husband and come here or return here. Now we have three imperatives here, hupage, phonesan, and elthe. Which one is a bit surprising to you? This one's the one that's a little surprising to me. Let's talk about why. Hupage is a present active imperative, second person singular. We, it's what we would expect. It's a verb of motion, verbs of motion that kind of have this inherent imperfective dimension to the, the procedural nature of the activity described, right? not, not giving attention to the beginning and ending. Verbs of motion usually are found in the present imperative, even if they're for specific commands, as we have here. Now, specific commands like do this now, do that now, are often in the in the aorist, especially when they're conceived of as in a perfective way, including the beginning and ending and everything in between, as we find here. This is from the verb phoneo, to call, right? just an aorist active imperative, second person singular. How about this elthe? Why, why is that surprising to me? Well, it's surprising to me because it, it's a verb of motion. I would have expected just another uh, present imperative. But instead, we have it building on the second aorist stem of erkomai, right? The second aorist of erkomai is aelthon. We yank off the augment. We're left with the stem elth. That's the second aorist stem plus the present imperative ending. So this is a second aorist active imperative, second person singular. Why? You know, because there's such a strong preference for the present for verbs of motion in the present imperative. Why an aorist here? I don't know that I know the answer to that fully. Maybe because it's a very bad, the way the activity is spoken of, it's a very, it is a very discreet activity. It's kind of bound, come return here. Like you can imagine the beginning and ending, it's sort of conceived of, looked at as a, in a holistic sort of way rather than the, the action being, being left open without attention to the beginning and ending. I'm not completely sure, but that's the one that surprised me, that that was in the aorist rather than the present.